Welcome to yoga class, everybody. I am Miss Mariah with Little Healers. If you have a yoga mat at home, go ahead and roll out your yoga mat nice and long and find your crisscross applesauce or your pretzel seat here. Shake your spine up nice and tall. And before we even get started, go ahead and take out your yoga goggles. So make two circles with your hands, bring them together and whoop. Put them on. Take a quick peek around your space here, seeing all the things that you can see. I see some doors and some closets, some pictures, all kinds of things. I see things that are gray and blue and pink. What do you see in your space? Yeah? Go ahead and take off your yoga glasses and bring your hands to cup behind your ears. And what do you hear in your space? Are the windows open? Can you hear the birds outside? Do you hear maybe a dishwasher? Or the laundry machine? Or maybe someone in your house talking? What do you hear? And then go ahead and take those wiggly fingers and bring them down to your knee. Shaking your spine up nice and tall, breathe in. Maybe your shoulders rise up and as you breathe out, they relax down. Now that we've gotten to know our space, we're ready to start and arrive in class today. So we're just gonna take a few breaths in and out our nose. And then as you're ready, our hands come to press onto our belly. And we're going to try to pretend like we have a balloon in our belly. And when we breathe in, we feel our belly push away like the balloon is filling up big with air. And as we breathe out, the air deflates. and Our belly tucks back in and our balloon is small again. So as you breathe in, Fill up your belly. The balloon fills up real big. Breathe out. The balloon is deflating. Sucking back in. Breathe in. Blow up your balloon. Breathe out. The balloon deflates. Two more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time. Great job. Slide your hands up to the top of your rib cage. Do you know where the ribs are? They're those bumpy things that you feel in your chest. They're all those bones that lace together here. So we can lay our hands on the front of our chest, pulling our elbows back. Or we can slide our hands to the sides of our ribs and tuck the thumbs behind our back, opening our chest nice and strong. Or you can place your hands, having the palms behind your back. And just play with those three hand positions here and figure out which one feels more comfortable. I'm going to bring my hands up to lay on top of my ribs here for a moment. And as I breathe in, I'm going to feel the way that my ribs pull apart as my lungs grow big when the breath fills them up. And as I breathe out, I'm gonna feel my ribs knit back in as all the air leaves the lungs, okay? So we're gonna explore the way the breath feels in our lungs and our ribs here. So as you breathe in, fill up. Breathe out. All the air exits. Did you notice anything with your ribs and your lungs as you breathed in and out? Breathe in, fill again. Breathe out. One more time, breathe in, breathe out. Slide your wiggly fingers back down to your knees. If your arms got tense, maybe you shake them out and wiggle a little bit and then bring them down to your knees. Great job, you guys. So as we come to yoga class, we arrive with our breath and we check in with our environment so that we can feel nice and safe with where we are. And then we're aware of all the things around us. 
So have you guys ever done a yoga class before? How exciting if this is your first one and how great if it's like your hundredth one. We're all coming from different walks of life, right? So when you come to yoga class or when you hear about a yoga class, what comes to your mind? Maybe you think about breathing, or maybe you think about sitting and taking out your yoga fingers and closing your eyes. Maybe you think about doing a yoga pose. Or maybe you think about laying down on your mat, closing your eyes and resting, right? There's so many pieces of a yoga class. So today we're going to learn about being in a yoga class and what the basic parts of it. So did you notice how when we came into yoga class today, we took a look around our space and then we took a few breaths to arrive. And now we're talking about it. But then we're going to move into waking up our spines and our bodies with some yoga poses getting our bodies all activated and awake and ready. And after our yoga poses, we're gonna lay down on our mats, breathe and have a rest to take in everything that we have learned today. So the first part of yoga class is breathing. The second part is the yoga poses and the activity. And the third part is the rest. So if you're ready, we will go ahead and begin class today with something called a yoga pose pattern. So the first few times, we'll do the pattern together. And then there'll be one time where you get to try the pattern on your own to see if you can remember it. So we're going to start off in easy pose or pretzel, where we're crisscross applesauce. Our spines are nice and tall, and our shoulders are falling away from our ears. We're going to hold our knees with our hands. And as we breathe in through our nose, our chest draws forward and our gaze goes up to the sky. Wow. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, we're going to pull the chest back, round the spine, and tuck the chin in. <sighs> breathe out. As you breathe in, come back to easy feet, long spine. We're going to uncross the legs and bring the bottoms of the feet together, cupping the toes in butterfly. Long spines here. Good job. And on both hands, we're going to face our palms towards the computer or the phone or the tablet. And we're going to leave out our index and our middle fingers, but we're going to tuck other three fingers in. Kind of like how you'd make peace signs, right? So those peace signs fingers come together and they're going to wrap around the big toes. Breathing in with that long spine. And as you're ready, you're going to rock back onto your bum and lift your feet up. Balancing here. Noticing how that feels, if that feels tricky or if that's super easy. Or if you get a nice stretch there, okay? And then slowly lower the feet back down, rocking onto the bum, bringing yourself back into easy seat. Hands come to the knees, long spine. So that's our yoga pose pattern, okay? So it's easy seat, rainbow breath, butterfly, lift. So all together. Meet me in easy seat. Hold your knees, long spine. Breathe in, chest goes forward, gaze goes up. Breathe out, round the spine, pull away, tuck the chin. <sighs> Breathe in, back to easy seat. Coming into butterfly, the soles of the feet are together, the spine is long. Our peace fingers. Rope around the big toes. Breathe in. Lift the feet up. 
Good job. Breathe out. Lower the feet down. Come back into easy seat. All right. One more time all together. Breathe in. Chest comes forward. Gaze goes up. Breathe out. Round the spine. Tuck the chin. <sighs> Breathe in. Long spine. Move the feet into butterfly. Rope around the big toes. Breathe in. Lift. Good job. Breathe out. Lower the feet back down. All right. Good job, you guys. I think you guys did so well with this pattern that maybe we can add a little bit more on to it. So if you like how the pattern feels, stay where we're at. But if you want to keep going, when we add on to the pattern, feel free to join in. So find your easy seat with your long spine. Breathe in, the chest comes forward, gaze goes up. Breathe out, round the spine, pull back. Breathe in, come to forward. Our feet come into butterfly, rope the toes. Breathe in, lift up. And as you breathe out, one leg maybe extends out and away. Take a breath heel here, feel the strength. Exhale, other leg comes out into bat pose. It's okay if you have a little bend in the knee too. Breathe in, one foot comes in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Lower your lift down. Nice job. Bring yourself into easy seat. Our hands come out nice and long, leaving lots of space between the fingers, almost like they're big stars floating around in the sky. And one shoots across the sky, and it falls down to the earth towards the short end of our mat. Our knees come underneath us as we lift into tabletop. So as we look at our hands, our wrists are right underneath our shoulders. And if we look back at our legs, our knees are under our hips and our shins and our feet are hiding behind the knees. You wanna feel nice, strong and stable. You can tuck the toes under. Feeling the support of table as we move into the yoga, the yoga poses of the class today. Take a big breath in here. And as you breathe out, lift your tail up into downward facing dog. Great job. Notice if you feel a stretch in the back of your legs or maybe in the upper back here. Great job. Look towards your hands and walk your feet to the front of your mat in a forward fold here. Maybe finding a little bend in your knees here. And one arm at a time holds the opposite elbow and we dangle and rag doll here. This pose is so important because our long spine and our back supports our body so that we can stand all day. So rag doll gives us a little break from having to carry our body all day. And as you feel ready, tuck your chin to your chest. And we're going to roll up nice and slow and tall. So tuck the chin to the chest. Breathe in. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Untuck the chin. Roll the shoulders back. Release your hands down to your sides into mountain. Now, everybody, if you're facing the short end of your mat, we are going to step to face the long edge of our mat in mountain pose, feeling the, the texture of the mat, the floor, the carpet underneath our feet with our toes, feeling our toes grip in, maybe bending the knees and unbending them so that our bodies can be nice and tall, our palms face out, and our gaze is forward, breathing into our bellies. Breathe out. And then we're going to make a star with our body. So we've already made finger stars, but now our left leg steps out. Our right leg steps out. 
Our left hand reaches up. Our right hand reaches up. And we've got one, two, three, four, five points on our star. We tick tock the hips. And the next time that our hips go left, they stay over there. Our hands come out, our arms come out long so that they're in alignment with something called our collarbone. So we've got these little bones right below our shoulders, up by our neck here. And so our arms run along the same line as that bone, nice and long. We look towards our right foot. And we're going to point those toes towards the short end of our mat. So our hips are rocked back to the left side. Our palms face the front side of our body. Breathe in tall. And as you exhale, we lean and tilt towards the right leg, opening the chest. You can look towards the phone or you can gaze up towards the sky, maybe smiling. Do you feel a stretch in your body? Or do you feel strength somewhere? Here I feel a stretch on the inside of my leading leg, but I feel strong in the side of my body. What about you? Yeah. All right, when you're ready, breathe in. Lift the arms back up tall. Reach the right arm up. Reach the left arm up and point those right toes to the long edge of your mat and star. Tick tock the hips. One, two, three, four. And when they go to the right, keep them over there. Bring the arms down into alignment with what bones again? The collarbones. Yeah. And then we're going to look at our left foot. And those toes on the left foot are going to go from facing the long edge of the mat, pivoting to the short edge of the mat. See how we kind of have like a triangle shape between our legs right now? So we're going to tick into the right side of our hips. And as we exhale, we tilt towards the left side. Because in yoga, what we do to one side, we've got to do to the other side. But the funny thing is about the two sides of our body is that one side might feel really different than the other side. So do you feel the stretch in the same part of the body or do you feel it somewhere else? And do you feel strong somewhere else in your body where maybe you didn't before? Yeah. All right, when you're ready, breathe in, lift up. Yep. Right arm shoots up, left arm shoots up, left toes point towards the front edge of our mat. Breathe in, the hands come together above the head. Breathe out, they find our hearts in the middle of our chest. One leg steps to center, the other leg steps to center. Feel the mat, the carpet, or the floor beneath your feet. What does it feel like? Does it feel grippy or soft, smooth, cold, warm? How does it feel? Just noticing how it feels underneath your feet. And when you're ready, we're going to explore a balancing pose called tree. So one leg is going to be our tree stump. The other one's going to be our kickstand. And remember that what we do to one side, we're going to do to the other side. So choose which leg you want to have as your tree stump. And go ahead and tap it three times. One, two, three. So that leg stays long and still and strong like a tree, like a tree stump. The other leg becomes a kickstand. So the heel finds the lower leg of the opposite foot. And we're going to point towards, the, towards that raised knee. And we're going to roll it open to the side of our body. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. we got to start from the bottom and work the way to the top. So if this feels good, you can stay here. You can breathe in. You can grow your tree. 
and your arms can stay touching, your hands can stay touching, or you can grow your tree nice and tall. And if your body feels a little wiggly, maybe it's just the wind blowing through your branches. Or maybe you feel strong and stable and firm like a tree. Or maybe you're a weeping willow and your branches hang low and slow. See which tree feels best in your body and which one expresses how you maybe feel in this moment. Now as you're ready, your palms come above your head. Your hands come down to your heart and your kickstand lowers down. Maybe bend into the knee, shake out the hands, whatever you need to do. And then as you're ready, what we do to one side, we do to the other. So your leg that was the kickstand is now going to become your tree stump. So tap that opposite leg three times. Find your center. Opposite heel becomes the kickstand on the lower leg with the tree stump. Our knee goes from facing forward to facing out. As you're ready, breathe and grow your tree. Which tree do you want to be? Do you want to be strong and tall? Do you want to be a weeping willow hanging low? Does the wind catch your branches and make you sway? Or are you ready for anything? What tree are you today on this side? Breathe in, hands come to touch. Breathe out, bring them down to center. Lower your kickstand down. Great job, you guys. Breathe in, sweep the hands up. Breathe out, forward fold. Gaze goes down towards the feet. Tuck the chin to the chest and ragdoll. Nice job. Our hands come down to our mat. We're facing the short edge now. One leg at a time lowers down into tabletop. Good job. So tabletop. Hands are hiding underneath the shoulders. Knees are under the hips. Toes are tucked. Spine is long. Untuck your toes so that the tops of the feet lay on your mat. Allow the toes to touch. And you can bring your knees together, or you can step them out wide as your feet touch. And as you breathe out, bring your sit bones down to your heels. Lower your forehead down to your mat, reaching the arms forward in rock or child's pose. And we're going to do something called humming breath here. So we breathe in through our nose. But then when we breathe out, we make a humming sound together. So breathe in through your nose. Breathe out to hum. Mm. Breathe in. Mm. And one more time. Breathe in. Mm. Slowly begin to lift your forehead up off your mat, looking at your hands. Walk your hands towards your body. And when your spine gets up tall, we're going to untuck the legs and they sit forward and extend out in front of us. We flex the feet, wiggle the toes, and lower all the way down onto our backs. In resting pose. Ah. So in resting pose here, I know that laying still can be so challenging sometimes because our minds and our bodies want to be so busy. So sometimes it's helpful to use our hands to feel the textures around us. Maybe your yoga mat or the floor, maybe the texture of your pants or your shirt. And from here, we're going to Squeeze the toes and the feet nice and tight, feeling their strength. And as you breathe out, let the toes and the feet relax and soften. And as you breathe in, squeeze the muscles of the legs, the lower, the middle, and the upper legs. Squeeze every muscle in the legs nice and tight. And as you breathe out, relax every muscle in the legs, feeling them soften. 
Ah, that's so nice. And as you breathe in, squeeze your glutes and your hips, your lower belly and your lower back nice and tight. Feeling that part of your body tighten and squeeze and strengthen. And as you breathe out, let them relax and release and soften. Ah. Breathe in your chest, your upper back, your shoulders squeeze together and tighten, tighten, tighten. Oh, we're so strong. Breathe out. The upper back, the chest, the shoulders, they soften and melt into our mat. Oh, so relaxing. Breathe in the arms, the elbows, the hands, the fingers. Squeeze in and tighten, tighten, tighten. Feel your strength. Breathe out. Ah, the hands, the arms, the elbows, they relax and they soften. Yep. Breathe in, squeeze your face so tight, squeeze the lips, scrunch the nose, the eyebrow, pull the ears forward and in, yeah. Squeezing the face so tight. Breathe out, allow the lips to soften, the nose to unscrunch, the eyebrow and the eyelids to soften, and the ears fall away, yeah. Oh, we're melting into our mat here. If you want to, you can keep your eyes open or you can even let your eyes close. Coming to our third part of class, we arrived and we breathed, we checked in. We moved into our second part of class where we do our yoga poses and our games. And now we're in the third part of class where we rest. As you lay still and calm with your eyes closed, notice how you feel right now. Maybe you feel calm and relaxed. Maybe you feel curious or strange. Maybe you feel ready. And as your body stays soft, we come to lay both hands on top of our belly here. And we're gonna imagine that we have that balloon in our belly again, just like we did at the beginning of class. And as you breathe in, fill the balloon up nice and big. Breathe out, deflate the balloon, all the air leaves, the belly pulls back in. Breathe in to fill up. Breathe out. And take a few balloon breaths on your own, allowing yourself to become more calm and relaxed with each breath. While we come back to normal breathing, begin to notice the sounds of the room or the space that you're in. I hear the birds. I hear the music. As you feel ready, slowly begin to blink the eyes open looking around the space and as you feel ready roll to one side of your body press into your mat and begin to lift up nice and tall coming back into easy seats very good we're gonna close out class with a humming breath here all together. So with humming breath, 
we're going to bring out our little bee fingers. And we know that we're humming when the bees are together. But when the bees fly away, it's time to turn the humming off, okay? And we'll close after that with one namaste, okay? So bring your bees together. Breathe in through your nose. Mm -hmm. Namaste. And thank you for joining me for class today.